everything that I'm going to say about Lil Wayne, I'm going to say with the same energy that he's spoken about black issues, which means I'm not going to have very much regard for how I talk about him. Wait, now, isn't he a Trump supporter? I'm not sure where he his could allegiance be, but I'm is. Not sure. I, I can say yes, he is because we know Trump has helped him in tough situations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know where his support lies, and that doesn't I, like outside of Trump. I know how he feels just about black social issues, mm -hmm. which will allow me to be completely uncompromised when critiquing <laughs> his performances. So you're relating his thoughts about that to like music performances? I, I think that's shitty too. No, no, no. I'm relating his thoughts to musical performances as to being able to speak freely because there are some people in our culture that I'm always going to protect no matter how shitty of a product that they put out. <laughs> like who? I'm not going to do that. Nah, right say it. No, no, for sure not. You would never just like always protect him? He's a great... He's you're a gonna, great performer. You're always going to protect Neo. So. I, Neo is a better performer than Lil Wayne. No, but I'm saying like, even if he does like <laughs> shitty things, are you always going to ride? Um, this is strictly <laughs> about performance. I'm not mad at you saying Neo's a better performer than Lil he Wayne. He is. He's a dancer. He's, he's a singer. He's amazing. Yeah. No, he is. I like, get, I'm not mad at that. Yo, Vocal control, I always I'm watch not mad at that. his live performances of Sexy Love. He's good. He's good. <laughs> okay. I don't know how It's very got specific. But, <laughs> I love him. I'm, I'm speaking about just... Live performances. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm just, you know, there's some people who are better than others, and there's some mm -hmm. people who aren't really good. But because Lil Wayne has been very vocal about how he feels about himself in our community, I feel empowered in just speaking the truth, right? As a community, as Black people, um, and especially again, I love the theme of this episode. We're talking about this on Election Week. Um, we we do want to feel incentivized to protect us little wayne has never felt incentivized to protect us he's always been about him and that is his prerogative he has lived in a bubble his entire life he's been a star since he was 13 years old he's had privileges and luxuries that have allowed him to live in a reality that does not affect the majority of us and when i say us i mean black people and he has spoken about that very openly if you ask Lil Wayne anything about himself, if you ask Lil Wayne anything about anything that's outside of himself, he always relates it back to him. And so I feel very comfortable in saying Lil Wayne is a shitty performer. Lil Wayne has not earned How many times have you seen my Lil Wayne? cachet of investing in his performances. How many times have you seen Wayne live? Plenty of times. A, a, like a plethora. The last time I saw Lil Wayne be even close to a good performer has been when he was during his Carter Three run. Okay. The Carter Three is one of his more mainstream projects, For and sure. that's when he was on MTV, and that's when like award shows meant something. So people were pumping money into making sure whoever was on that stage had a great performance, at least, right? He's not a good performer, and it is okay to say that. It doesn't mean he's not a great rapper. I think rappers have sliders. Some rappers are really great at performing. Some rappers have tracks and albums that allow them to perform in certain arenas, right? Lil Wayne is a great rapper, and I think he is top 10. And some people will say he's top five. And I'm not going to argue if he's top five or not, because I, 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 I may be able to say, yo, he's a top five rapper of all time. Cool. He grew up in my era. Or I grew up in his era. And that's what it is. But when it comes to performance, Lil Wayne is ass um, at performing. Okay. He's just not good. He's not compelling. There's nothing that distracts you from him. And when I, I, I want to be distracted by somebody who can't perform. It's almost like Ashanti. We love Ashanti. We do. She's a cool she legend. Has, she has timeless. She has timeless records. Mm -hmm. I've seen Ashanti live, and I, I hate to like make her this person. You know what? I'll I'll bring it to somebody current. Fuck like fuck the Ashanti yeah, comparison. Leave the Long Island people alone. Summer Walker. Okay. Summer Walker has been criticized in her live performances, mm -hmm. but that doesn't take away from Summer Walker's music. Summer Walker makes better R and B music. Than ninety five percent of her contemporaries. Honestly, yeah. But her performances are lackluster. So I believe two things can be true with Lil Wayne. His music and his performance doesn't translate to arenas, in my opinion. I don't. I don't agree with the music part. 
your the opinion about I'm the fire man, fire, fire. Save on. That's the whole point. I'm, I'm fire, glad you brought fire, that up. Fire, you walk right into the, Why you walk into that door? You could put me up and I'm put it out. See, that revision is history. Put it. It's not yeah, a I, great record to perform. That's my whole thing, though, right? I literally told you that was a New Orleans set. The Super Bowl set is gonna be Go DJ, Lollipop, Amelie. Like it's different, right? In that arena, in your home state. That's why you had the Hot Boys, Big Time is up there. Mm -hmm. They doing real Geechee records. They doing records that's for that town, for that space, for that city. Mm -hmm. He not going to go up to the Super Bowl and do Fireman. He, there are, he why has, wouldn't he? That's one of his I better mean, he, commercial songs. He, no, there's way more than If anything, Fireman was probably one of the, one, one of the first ones on a main, mainstream level. That's what I'm saying. Aside I, from the mixtape shit. I remember growing up I remember in like the, I remember MTV, the video. Yeah. morning music, and Fireman was one of his more popular songs. He was sitting on that rubble and it was fire behind him. But I, I don't think it translates <laughs> into like a Super Bowl performance. I don't think it's on the set, Savon. I'm going to be honest with you. Say, Why little, not? I just told you, you got other songs. You got cleaner songs you can get to. You get Lollipop, you can, go DJ, you go Millie. Can like, I get five Super Bowl songs? I in your you, opinion. I gave you a three. Give I got, me, give me, all right. I gave you three already, right? So I'm, I got to think about what it. What are the three that you gave me? Uh, go DJ, a Millie, and Lollipop. That's for sure. Oh, Mrs. Officer, that's four. I don't oh. think Go DJ is a Super Bowl. I'm not saying it's not a great song. Definitely a Super Bowl song. I don't know if it's a Super Bowl song. I think it's a Super Bowl song. Maybe his opener. Okay, that's I'll what I'm saying. All right, all right, that's cool. exactly how I'm right. so glad you mentioned and, that. Because, like, like Usher's yeah. opener? Like, Go DJ, was, that's my DJ. Yeah, I'll give you that. Come on, and, yeah. And on, specific to that city. Okay. I'll give you that. Which that's is the whole point. Which is why okay. he wanted it. That's I'll give you that. He had, and what like, else did you have? I got one more that I got to think about. You said... Oh, I gave you... Uh, Go DJ. And Mrs. Officer. Mrs. Mrs. Officer is a Super Bowl song. It is. I agree. Yes, Absolutely. it is. Right. Absolutely. And then Lollipop. Yes. You said that's three. No, I'll give you one more. Lollipop. Go, a Millie. A Millie. A Millie for sure. Yeah. Four. All right. That's four. Fifth one. Throw one of his features in there. Even with one of the pop artists. Mm -hmm. Like, he definitely has the catalog to do that. He and did. the set is only 13 minutes long for the Super Bowl, bro. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, now, no. for the performance aspect of it, I can see what you're saying. You probably don't enjoy it. A lot of his songs, well, newer stuff, had auto-tune in it. So performing that could be a little bit different. One thing I was impressed about when I was watching the performance on Amazon Prime, uh, Lil Louisiana Fest, was that he was performing with essentially no backtrack. If he did have a backtrack, it would just come through around the hook to kind of help him around the hook area. But for the most part, he was going all him, all his voice. And that was impressive to me. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think he has the catalog to do it. And he got so much music, bro, that we forget. Mm -hmm. Real talk. Like, mm -hmm. when we leave this studio right now, we're gonna, there's going to be Lil Wayne songs that come to our head like, oh, shit, yeah, he could definitely... Oh, yeah, he did do that song with so-and-so, mm -hmm. right? To your point about his views about black people, politics, etc., I'm with you on that. I think it's nasty. I think you need to stand on something, especially as a black man. I have no qualms with what you're saying in that. However, I just don't combine that with an opportunity to perform at the Super Bowl. Okay. You know, Understood. Super Bowl ain't a black thing. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, six foot, seven foot. Six foot, seven, seven foot, foot, eight, eight foot. Eight. That's five, six right there. See, I get it. And we <laughs> love those songs. Uh, but I, I love think, six foot, seven foot. I'm just saying, could they that's, work for I the Super like Bowl? I feel like that's a mainstream yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could work for the as, Super Bowl. As a sideshow, nigga. <laughs> what? I, I, I just think that, and again, I'm not... I just think some people made music for the moment. He's one of those people, in my opinion, that made music for the moment. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, like he, a was specific the, era. he was the biggest moment. But when we talk about artistry, I never looked at Lil Wayne as like one of our greatest artists. I think he was a great really? I think he was a great rapper, but I think an artist is innovative. I think an artist kind of pushes like Savon, he no, only birthed think, a generation of rappers. I think, For sure. Like I, what he did during the mixtape era is very innovative and exactly what like a trailblazing artist does. In our culture. But I, the Super Bowl, I think, is somebody who translates that culture. 